As I said, I promise to be brief. Perhaps inevitably I will talk often in these speeches. I want to talk a little bit about the past, a little bit about the present, and perhaps to speculate somewhat about the future. And to end on what I hope will be a positive note, but perhaps a slightly cautionary note in one particular sense. I will probably, um, I'm afraid, touch touch on the rather dry area of regulation more than many of you might wish to hear, but I'm afraid you're stuck with me. I'm a regulator, so hey, you made the mistake of inviting me in that regard. Um, Vis-a-vis the past, as was mentioned in in the introduction, I have the misfortune to be trained as an economist rather than an engineer, so when my team were sort of preparing for this speech, they got various interesting facts about how the gas industry developed. I hadn't known that Frederick Windsor was the f- formed the first public utility company in the world in 1812, and that it's, it opened in Westminster, actually very close to Ofgem's offices, and brought gas lights to London. And basically, over the 19th century, the gas industry, I think the phrase used was spread like wildfire, which might be somewhat unfortunate as a metaphor, but nonetheless has been used. But it spread, and it had a huge effect. It brought gas meters, prepayment meters, and it brought light and warmth into people's lives in a way that really, for most of human history, they never had before. And you actually, re- looking back, and looking back as an untrained, naive economist, just the sense in which that the gas industry transformed piece of people's lives in the 19th century, I think is truly striking, and something to reflect on, and in some ways, something to congratulate yourself, the industry, on. I mean, there were clearly downsides. The working conditions of the time were truly dreadful. Uh, Stokers who put coal into furnaces were given new pairs of clogs every month, simply because a pair of clogs was burnt out within one month, and it started to burn off the soles of their feet. Thankfully, the HSE is uh, on the piste now and makes sure that won't happen. Um, Moving much closer to the present day, the industry was privatized in the late 80s. It was opened up to greater competition. And then you had the uh, blessing or misfortune, depending on your point of view, to be given a regulator, which was formed off gas in 1986, and then off gem in 1999. So, as I said, the regulator is relative newcomer to an industry that I think has a long and distinguished history. 